Hey everyone, welcome back. I am so sorry if I sound weird. I am sick right now. And yes, I'm actually sick. I know a bunch of you always ask in my comments sometimes, like, are you sick? You sound sick. Well, today, let me tell you, I am actually sick. The other times, it's usually because I just rolled out of bed and just woke up, or I'm about to go to bed and I'm exhausted, so. But this, no, this, I'm actually sick right now. Otherwise, I rarely get sick. I get sick, like, maybe, like, I don't really know, like, I guess just, like, an average amount of, like, sick time, maybe, like, twice a year or something, once, twice a year, I don't know. But anyway, you guys, welcome back. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button and hit the like button. If you're already here, hit the like button. Do it now. Hit it or subscribe. Do it. So we can spill some tea today because we are finally back with Off Limits and we're getting towards the end of the story, you guys. This is getting so dramatic. We gotta find out what happens with Issa and our character and the dad and everything. It is just a freaking hot mess up in here. So I'm excited to start this. I know you guys haven't even blown up my comments. So let's get into this. Once again, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Go show the amazing author Sandra lots of love. Her Instagram is linked in the description box down below. And without further ado, let's start the drama. So, I think it's time we put all the cards on the table, don't you? Okay, so it's about to go down. Yeah, sure. Okay, good. First of all, I am not happy about my daughter dating you, but I must admit that my behavior the last week has been out of line and I apologize for that. I just didn't know how to deal with the situation and I was very hurt. I totally understand that, James. Like, I mean, we completely get it. It was just a little overreaction much, but okay. I hurt you and I'm deeply sorry about that. Honestly, this is between them. I'm just keep going listen. You're just sorry. Oh, okay. That's not true. We wanted to tell you, but everything between us was new. We wanted to see where things were going before we told you. I am so sorry. My voice is such a hot mess, you guys, but I did not want to keep you waiting any longer for a video. So I am sorry, but at least you guys get the off limits. And if it didn't work out, you wouldn't have told me about it. Uh, oh, this isn't going well. Anyway, DJ is 18 years old and she has her own free will. So I guess I have no choice but to accept that you two are a thing now. <gasps> Dad's accepted it. Okay. Everyone's excited. Thank you, Dad. However, I want to establish some rules. Oh, no, not the rules. There will be no sleeping over, and I want her back at midnight. No. What do you mean, no? I'm not okay with that. I want to be able to sleep over here. What's he going to do? Or I could just move in with him. <gasps> oh, she threw that on the table real quick. Okay, okay. What about two sleepovers a week? Three. Is he gonna take fine? And you can't be rude to him or punch him in the face. Oh, can we have a moment of appreciation when it happened? Wow. I'll try. How thoughtful. You should be happy I'm even speaking to you right now. Our friendship is over. From now on, I will only see you as the guy my daughter is dating. Oh. That's so why did like I'm gonna go. DJ, are you coming with me or are you staying? I'm staying. Okay. So should I pick you up tomorrow or no need, I'll give her a ride. All right, I guess I'll see you later then. Bye, sweetheart, I love you. Easton. I'm a little like, okay. I'm so happy that he's okay with him dating finally, but I'm a little sad that like Easton and her, like James are like, their friendship is on the outs right now, but I love you too, buddy. That's so sad, like that's such a cute little like thing. Like I was there. They're gonna make up eventually, let's be realistic. Are you okay? I'm fine. It can't be easy to lose your best friend. No, it's not. But sometimes you have to sacrifice something to gain something else, like our character, of course. And you know, it isn't worth it if it doesn't hurt a little. And you are totally worth it. Oh, thanks. Easton, that is so sweet. Yeah, well, now you know my secret. What's that? That I'm cute as a button? Damn it, I tried so hard to hide it. His little wink at the end there. I'm so happy your dad didn't beat me to a pulp today. That would have been interesting, though. I'm surprised he let us to be together, aren't we all? Well, he doesn't have much of a choice. I'm a grown woman, and I think he's finally starting to realize that. I do see where he's coming from, though. It must be hard to let go. Yeah, I guess you're right. So, what do you want to do tonight? I think we all know what Easton wants to do. He wants to smash it. So, you want to eat some tacos in my hot tub? That's one way to say it. Whoa, tacos in the hot tub? I think I might fall in love. Oh, y'all are already there, so it's fine. Come on. You know, honestly, what an experience this is. Is everything okay? Why are you still dressed? Um, I don't have a bikini. That's okay. I'll just wear my underwear if that's okay. You... Babe, just get in the tub. Hurry, I'll eat all the tacos. 
you look wow. Suddenly, I'm not in the mood for tacos anymore. Oh, he's in the mood for a taco, all right. Easton, you can look as much as you want. This is all your... <laughs> okay, sis, I'm... He doesn't know what to say. Did you just stutter? What? Do I really have that effect on you? Oh, you have no idea. Get over here. You look so sexy right now. You too. I've been dreaming about this for a long time. <laughs> Are you serious? <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm... Oh, this... Oh my gosh. Okay. Are we sure we're sure our character sure she's sure? Is this the first time we had tacos? It was a hot tub. I think she's ready. If I didn't think she was ready, I wouldn't put her through this, but I think she's ready, so I'm sure. Yes, I want this Easton. It is time. Finally, me too. I've imagined this for so long. She's waited too. I'm so proud. Always wait until it's the right moment, and I think it's the right moment for our girl. So, yeah, yeah. I've never... Oh, okay. Really? Really? Wow, you sent me melt into a puddle and haven't even touched me yet. Yeah, we gotta be careful about that demonetization. One of my many skills. Oh, yeah, why don't you show me the rest of your skills? Oh, as you wish, princess. And here they go. Oh, there goes the blanket. The first time was there. Wow. Later. Wow. So, um, we've never done that before. Yeah, trust me, I wouldn't forget. Easton? Yeah. Can we... What, do you want to do it again? Yes. Oh. God, you're like a dream. Oh, they are just getting... Oh my gosh, they're like rabbits right now. My gosh, the next day. Are we, are they still going? Okay, no, they woke up. I'm sure they're exhausted. My goodness. Hey, Dad. Little does he know. Yes, everything is okay. Sure, I'll see you tonight. If only he knew what just happened. <laughs> James? Yeah, it was my dad. He just wanted to check in. He's probably worried since it was our first night together. I don't see how he can be worried. He's my best friend. He should know that I would treat you well. Well, unlike your previous boyfriends... Oh, Never forget the previous boyfriends. Actually, I did forget, and let's all forget, Alex. I take that back. What are you doing? Getting dressed. I can see that, but why? I want to do some job hunting today. Again, why? Because I need money. You can work for me. We talked about this before. Yeah, but is it really a great idea? Why wouldn't it be? I'd give you your own office. Ooh, really? Yeah, with the view and everything. What do you say? Think about it while I get the door. Um, I mean, that's hard to pass up. I mean, it could get messy if there's a breakup, but... She gets her own office of the view. Hi. Oh, okay. She's, she's kept me a little shook. How to do a little double take real quick. Hi, my name is Brianna. I'm your new neighbor. Uh, hi. I'm Easton. What a sexy... Anyway, I just want to introduce myself. I'm having a party tonight, and you're welcome to join if you want to. That's cool. I'll see if I can stop by. It was nice to meet you, Brianna. Please, come here, Bri. Yeah, take, get out, out, get out. Who was that? That was my new neighbor. She just wanted to introduce herself and let me know she was having a party tonight. Oh, okay. Are you going to... I couldn't speak for a second. Are you going to her party tonight? That woman just had me choked up. I was like, just thinking of her. No, I don't think so. You can go if you want to. He doesn't want to. What? Nothing. You're just cute. Come on, I'll drive you home. Thank you. I had the best time last night. Me too. I wonder if James is going to open that door real quick. Get your lips off my daughter. I knew he was going to be there. I just had that gut feeling. Dad, you told us it was okay. You don't have to do it in front of me. No kissing in my home, okay? Absolutely, I'm sorry. I'll see you later. Just air kisses now. So, so what? Did he behave? OMG, yes, Dad. He is a total gentleman and a beast in the bedroom, so. <laughs> He's the best of both worlds. That's good, I guess. Easton and I are more than just a flake. I sure hope so, or I wouldn't let him date you. You deserve the best, DJ. I really wish it wouldn't be him, but if he makes you happy, then I guess I'm happy too. Thanks, Dad. I'm just happy all the family drama's taken care of. Hey, Candy. Oh, the good sis, Candy. I low-key forgot about her for a hot second, even though I have another story with the kid. My goodness, I'm sorry, Candy. Hey, OMG, you totally did it last night. What? How did you know that? You're totally glowing. I'm just so happy. Of course she is. With that sexy hunk next to you, I bet. So how did he look naked? Candy, we're in public. Oh, come on, there's no one here. I want details. 
So are you going to get cozy with him again? Candy says, of course, she's going to get... I really want to, that's what I thought. He wants to see me tonight. If I get the option, I'm going to click yes. So she has no choice. Ooh, love is in the air. Will you be able to sneak out two days in a row? I don't have to sneak out. My dad is totally okay with it. Okay, maybe not totally okay, but he has accepted it. No way, really? Girl, you're so lucky. Yeah. Okay, I know what to do now. You're going to buy the sexiest underwear you can find, and then you're going to knock on his door with only a coat to cover yourself. <gasps> then you tell him that your zipper's stuck, and when he helps you out, he'll see that you're only wearing the underwear. He will drop that, I swear. What a plan. Let's start shopping. Later that night. Oh, she's actually going to do the plan. Wow, I look good. I should change my hair. Oh, okay, let's change your hair real quick. I'm so ready. Okay, honestly, yeah, I was looking through it, and I just have a normal one, like, with the, like, lingerie. Like, I think it looks good. I changed the color. I went for a more, like, I think I picked dirty blonde instead of ash blonde. Just to give a little change, you know? Perfect. OMG, I almost forgot. You know, we just added some warmth to her with that hair color. I can't believe she's, oh, I'm hyped she's going through with this idea. She's here already. Oh, look how sweet he is setting up the dinner table. Well, he's going to be eating something else for dinner. So let's see what his reaction is. Oh, her. I'm sorry. Hey, I hope I'm not disturbing anything. Uh, I'm Brie. We talked this morning. Remember, I leave Brie. All right. <clears throat> I noticed you were at the party, so I thought I'd come by and check if everything was all right. Yeah, sorry. I forgot to tell you that I won't be stopping by tonight. Oh, that's too bad. I really want to be there. I don't want to be rude, but I'm expecting company. Oh, yeah, no worries. Before I go, I was wondering if you could help me out with something. Oh, no, this is gonna... What do you need help with? I have this wine bottle and it just won't open. Could you give it a try? Yeah, sure, let me get my wine opener. Oh, I wonder if our character's gonna, like, walk in and think this is literally, like... <clears throat> What is she doing? Uh, she's walked upstairs, Brianna. I have the wine opener. Maybe she went to the bathroom. First of all, 911, she's not here because there's an intruder in my house. Maybe she went back to her party. I don't like where this is going. He's going to walk in the bedroom and she's going to be like laid out or something. No. Hey, you look gorgeous. So do you, new shirt? Maybe. I made us dinner. Wait, my zipper is stuck. Could you help me? Yeah, sure. <gasps> oh no, this is gonna go so bad because he's gonna be shook, but then Brianna's upstairs. Oh, look at his face. He's like, oh my god. You like? I say hell's it with dinner. Oh my gosh, let's go to bed then. I can barely look. So. I, I don't know what to say, y'all. Took I just gotta keep reading. Took you long enough? What the? How did you... You know, you look good with the shirt, but I prefer you shirtless. Like this morning, remember? What? This is not happening to me right now. You need to leave. Who is this? TJ, it's not what you think. Oopsie. I'm in shock. I, I'm, I'm still shook over this situation. This girl, Bree, really just moved in and is this like new neighbor or whatnot. Flirts with him, which is like, you don't know him. He doesn't know you. That is inappropriate. You don't do none of that. And then you're going to come back later, walk upstairs in his bedroom in his house, which you were barely invited in in the first place. First of all, he was getting you a wine opener. He did not say, like, come in and chill. And you're going to go on his bed and do that? Uh, excuse me? Excuse her? Who does that? She's crazy. No normal person would do that. Just walk in, go upstairs, undress, and just think that it's okay. First of all, if I'm Easton, I would have been like, police, there is an intruder in my household. Get this person out and file against them. I'm sorry. No, that, I'm more like, who, I'm hyped about this. I don't know why y'all, like, I know it's a story, but I just don't agree with this one bit. I, I can't believe she did that. But you know what? 
It's a little weird. Now, she might just be a crazy, that's fine. That's, I mean, it's not fine, but like, whatever. But, or, I wonder if this was a setup. Because, you know, DJ and Easton are dating now. And I wonder if this is like someone's, James, like, I couldn't imagine our dad would do this because, like, he's cool with the situation. Well, he's not cool with the situation, but you know what I mean. But I wonder if it's a setup. Maybe it was, like, I I low-key forgot his name. The other doing it earlier in the story or just, I don't know. I don't know. It's just a little weird. It's it's fishy. It's sketch. But maybe she's just psycho. I don't know. But one way or another, this is a freaking hot mess. Hopefully, Easton can, like, do something to, like, fix the situation because eek. That's messy, but let me know what you guys think in the comment. What are your theories? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this. I am sorry this video was like all over the place. I am so sorry. Like I sound a hot mess, but I still got some enjoyment. I didn't want you guys to have to wait much longer for videos for that matter. So I filmed it. As you can see, usually when I film, it goes up the same day or it goes up like, so I'll record the night before or something and it goes up like the next morning or something. You get the point. I'm just rambling now. But anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Once again, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And I can't wait to see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching as always. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.